some clouds this evening for you too, and that's going to help the temperatures from slowly dropping into the early morning hours. We still expect some 40s out there. We already have them in Galax at 46 here at 49 in Ashboro too. We've got 51 in Greensboro, 52 Burlington. You see the cloud deck here is a little thinner, so you may cool more quickly just to the north, but we also expect to see temperatures warm back up. We had upper 50s again today, some 60s. We have 58 officially actually in Greensboro, 59 just to the east there in Greensboro in uh, Burlington rather, and we expect to see some more 60s possible tomorrow. Little moisture creeping eastward. It just is not very thick and abundant yet. We have a lot of dry air that it's going to have to overcome. We do have a front though that will help to force some of that moisture that we'll tap into from the south. Eventually that happens on Saturday. We're at 58 degrees for highs officially today in Greensboro 30 for that morning low. The good news is that we stay mild, even though we talk about some of these fronts coming through. It could be windy on the back edge, a little cooler, but not by much. We're seeing 44 degrees tomorrow morning on your Friday morning impact hours from about 6 a.m. through about 9 10 a.m. where we see those scattered showers rolling through northern Piedmont, especially a few folks in the tribe may get in on some showers and it could look like it's going to rain at times throughout the day. Then some cloud thinning even through the evening hours. Rain chances should be limited until we get you into Saturday morning. 43 degrees in the foothills from Mount Airy up through Jonestown or Jonesville rather 51 degrees around 9 a.m. to 56 at lunchtime 61 and those rain chances. They also drop off as we go through the afternoon. You could still see a spotty shower through the evening hours, but it's just not looking good to see good steady showers until late Saturday. Right now, 40 degrees expected for you in the mountains with warming temperatures at 50 degrees around noontime, 55 for that late afternoon high and rain chances. They'll also be coming back up as we go through the evening hours and good rain chances for everybody by Saturday morning. Here's what's happening. You see the mild air on our Friday. Friday morning, couple quick passing showers. We get rid of some of those showers, bring in a little bit of sunshine, we're hopeful, and then cloud cover and rain starting again early Saturday morning. A lot of this will happen from west to east, so the tribe may actually be dry until middle of the day when shower chances start to pick back up. And depending on the speed of this front, It'll help determine when we see all that rain and how long it lingers. We do expect scattered showers to pick up through the afternoon, evening hours on Saturday night, then early Sunday morning, right around midnight through about 3 a.m. We may see some of that snow wrapping in right over the Blue Ridge Parkway as we go up into the slopes from Beach Mountain South and into Boone and Blowing Rock. There's a chance you might get up to a half an inch. You're seeing temperatures though. Notice this by early Sunday morning, still in the 50s. That cold air takes a little bit of time to catch up with us. And really it's a milder air mass right behind it. So we're expecting some mid 50s for the afternoon. We've been talking about Sebastian out there too. This is a late season, possibly hurricane by late tomorrow afternoon. We're seeing it warm waters over low 80s. Then it moves over the waters in the upper 70s. So it should drop down from a hurricane late tomorrow into Saturday, we believe before it moves off to Europe and possibly impacting Western France and parts of Ireland. Look at the seven day forecast. You've got 62 degrees on your Friday, 56 Saturday and your Thanksgiving day looks dry for now. We could start off though with rain chances on that travel day Wednesday. We will keep you posted, but mild air in between.